I got a question. So I've noticed with a lot of YouTubers out there, their thumbnail is always like, why do they gotta be like this? They trying to catch flies or something? Comment below. What's up everybody? We alive. Yet another day above soil. I figure I'd shoot some content before I go for my first dose. Um, if you haven't gotten vaccinated yet, go ahead and do so. I know that there's going to be some people out there who are skeptical of the vaccine. Rightfully so. Um, at first I was, I was pretty skeptical myself. But at the end of the day, if we want to do our part to end this pandemic of ours, it's probably best that we do get those doses. Um, I've noticed that there's a lot of people out there who don't know how to do this one simple thing. And honestly, I've been guilty of it as well. When I was in high school, I didn't know how to fold a fitted sheet. I would just take it out the dryer, ball it up, throw it in the closet. In college, I took it out of the dryer, I balled it up, and I threw it in the closet. Even in grad school, I took it out the dryer, I balled it up, and I threw it in the closet. It wasn't until I got my first full-time job that I actually folded a fitted sheet. Well today I'm going to teach all of y'all how to fold a fitted sheet. It's relatively easy. Don't get me wrong, it's going to take you a few times to get it down pat. But I promise you, once you get it, you get it. And it's kind of hard to forget. Alright y'all, this is how you go and fold a fitted sheet. All right, so you get the corners of the fitted sheet. You put your middle fingers at the very tip of the seams like this. One seam touches the other like this. You bring them together. You, you put your hands up like you're praying. And then you pull both seams out like that. Take your other hand, feel for the seam right here, and then go and drop that on the floor. Same thing with the other side. Make sure that the seams are the corresponding position. All right, you got seam here, seam here. They touch like you pray. You pull it out like that. Then you get that other seam that you put in. There you go. You find that other half right here. You see right here, seam right here. You pray. Pull it out like this. You have only one seam left. All right. Now I'm going to take my folded sheet, put it on this table. Should be relatively flat. You have the elastic on one side, nothing on the other. I fold it like this. Make it nice and flat. Bam. Bam. Folded 
fitted she. So I went ahead and went over to the fairgrounds over in Syracuse to get my first vaccine. One day came and went. Um, I only wish that I could videotape the happenings of what was going on that day, but there was a lot of signage that said no cameras, no photographs, no nothing like that. And plus when I went into the exposition center where they housed the vaccines, there was like 10, 15, 20 people dressed up in uniform. So I was kind of feeling sketched out about making video content there, but I'm still going to share my experiences. So I walked into the exposition center, I said, freeze. And they were pointing a temperature gun to my forehead. Uh, he waited about five, 10 seconds. Without saying anything, he moved away. So I assumed it was okay for me to go forward. And there was like five, six, seven people who asked if I had my state ID, my insurance card. And I was like, yes and yes. Then came the shot. So they told me to go over to table nine. It was some guy who was about 10 to 15 years younger than I was. And he asked for my ID and insurance card. I gave it to him. And then there was this guy who looked a little bit older than I was, maybe in his 50s. And he's like, have a seat. And he was building rapport and he said, okay, so where are you coming from? I'm coming from Oswego. Did you come here with a significant other or family member? I'm like, no, it's just me because a lot of my family or 90% of my family live back in Baltimore. And he said, whoa, that's daring yeah so what do you what do you do over in Oswego well I work for a college and during this whole conversation I didn't even realize that he stuck me in the arm with the syringe I didn't even feel it coming and he said yeah it's that quick now because this is your first dose you're gonna feel a little bit stiffness in your arm and that's just about it so then he said, walk around a corner and then wait 15 minutes because we want to see if you're going to get an allergic reaction. So huh, the 15 minutes had passed and I don't have an allergic reaction. As of right now, it's, I mean, it still feels a little bit sore, but it's not agonizing. So first dose, done. I may or may not make another video within 21, or actually in this case, 20 days to update y'all about the second dose. It is my hope that the second dose is not as bad. When my mother took the vaccine, the second dose, she said she didn't really feel anything. I hope I don't feel anything as well. But anyway, um, y'all go ahead and get yourselves vaccinated if you're eligible. Uh, there's different ways to check your eligibility. Um, if I could find something out there, I'm going to put the link within the description. But yeah, that's just about it. Um, I've got a few newspapers to cut up because it's time to get crafted. So before we part ways and leave, I have a relatively important question to ask of you. If you went to sleep tonight and you didn't wake up the next day, would you truly be satisfied with the life that you've lived? If your answer is no, then it's most definitely time to do some soul searching and think about some of the things that need to change within your life. I say this because there's a lot of things within our society that discriminate. Death, however, does not discriminate. I want to thank you all so much for your time and watching. If this is your first, second, third, or whatever time watching, hit that subscribe button. It's right down below. Um, I'm also going to include my Etsy and Instagram right within the description. I leave you all with much love, good spirits, and vibes. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. I'm out.